Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to be with you today. Just wanted to show you how my, um, to, my beets are progressing, and also the carrots are growing. It is a beautiful thing. Let's just let's take a quick look at the cucumbers mm -hmm. and the carrots. They're doing well also. And let's look at the other one here too. This is doing well too. Very, very well. And I'm very happy about this. So this is what the garden looks like right now. And um, this is September 14th. It's a Saturday. Uh, things are quiet. It was very cold out this morning, early morning. Um, 45 degrees the low this morning. Um, but it is supposed to warm up into the 70s, which is great. So let's take a quick tour today and um, look and see what is happening. And I have some things to show you as well. So let's start moving. Let's go in here and see what's happening with these string beans. Am I going to get any string beans? Ah! Look at that! It's still kind of young, but I am going to get some. I'm getting some. And um, they're still flowering. Next year I have to plant them much sooner. Now, I don't know what this is. I should pull up one and just see what it is. Hmm. <gasps> Look at that! Wow! That's what that is! Pull it up. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my goodness. What is it? <laughs> A turnip. Wow. I could put it in my soup. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. What a good surprise. Look what I've harvested the turnips that looks so fresh uh oh look at the snail on it that's eating it up but yeah that's fantastic and I have two here you see that and um, there are a whole lot here I planted this last uh, in the spring I planted these turnips in the spring from a seed pack from the Dollar Tree and um, they have produced now so look at that I'm going to have to come back and harvest these that is so nice and I love these um, marigolds as well That is nice. And look, these string beans. Wow, but this is the showstopper. That is so wonderful. Well, I had um, I had harvested some carrots from this container earlier in the uh, month and I sprinkled some more carrot seeds in here and look at that they are sprouting so I'm going to have some more carrots that's a good thing I wanted to show you this pepper plant this is a Jamaican pepper and um, it has grown into a shrub uh, I started off with a little little um, seedling that I got as a plant start from my grower and um, it was so small and it was an experiment because I'm not really a pepper lover but this is very um, 
this is very encouraging. I think that I'm going to buy this plant again and just use it ornamentally within and throughout the garden um, because I just love how the leaves the leaves are shaped and designed I like the the shine of the leaves and it has these little flowers it's starting to fruit and um, it just looks really nice I didn't realize that it was gonna grow so large here but it, it likes this spot and uh, my cabbage is here and it's continuing to develop it suffered a little bit with the holes from um, the slugs but it's something to work on and I of course have I have to show you this um, because this has really turned out to be um, so fantastic I love it and I definitely am a fan of coleus um, you know that I love chrysanthemums and they're starting to open up it's going to be a beautiful beautiful display but yeah this pepper is what I'm I was really focusing in on t right now and then um, here in the bed uh, is another pepper plant that I planted as well and this one I think has yeah peppers developing you see that mm -hmm. and it really liked it here and I, I'm very happy about this um, my purple perella is just about quitting it's moving from flower to seed see that yeah and um, so I'm going to have to pull it up soon because otherwise it's going to just be all over the yard which is you know it's fine because it adds a, I mean this is just fantastic look at that it just adds that extra color um, it just makes the garden look very pretty well these chrysanthemums and impatience are doing well I am so impressed with the white impatience because the red impatience just stopped but this is continued and is really holding on here's another pepper plant right here and it too is also starting to fruit now this is my fennel and um, I have fennel seeds I should harvest these seeds um, because uh, it will just be really nice to have for next year the fennel seeds I've been really impressed with the fennel just as a filler in the garden <laughs> use it as an herb for cooking but I should um, yeah this is just so beautiful just had to just come back around here and look at this because these coleus are um, are now at the point where they are flowering and soon they will be seeding and um, this is a showstopper definitely have to continue to plant more of them throughout the garden now look at what has decided to show up yes the marigolds that's a good thing yeah, so as we go around here now I planted or transplanted this dahlia here and now it's decided to um, start to bloom which is good so maybe I'll get something out of it and even my angel trumpet tree here has um, is sending out buds and hopefully it will have enough time to flower it won't get too cold um, hopefully we won't be experiencing the first frost too soon because I would really love to see this flower um, before the season is out yeah so that's this corner here and um, this is looking really really nice 
I need to deadhead, continue to deadhead these dahlias so that they can bloom. So, you know, I guess pinching them is just as good here. Um, I should cut this off, the zinnia, so that other zinnias can grow. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? Um, but for some reason, I'm not in a hurry to do that, and I should. But I'm glad that we're getting other shoots here. Now, this is my lemon tree, and I had it in another location. Um, but it looks like it's happy here. Um, it's kind of late, though. Uh, well, let's see how it grows. I'm not sure if I want to keep it, because it, I've had it for like five or six years now and not a thing has happened nothing nada I need something to happen with this lemon tree um, but the dahlias continue to bloom I'm very happy with the dahlias and um, I transplanted the strawberries here and they are um, creating little shoots here. Do you see this? Yeah, it's rooted in underneath the tree here. Um, yeah, so that means that they will come back and hopefully fill this whole area with strawberries. And this is my sedum. It looks like it's recovering. All right, let's just take a quick look at this back garden here. Um, this spot tends to get the morning sun right through here. And um, that's why these tomatoes are doing so well. I really need to harvest them. I have enjoyed eating these tomatoes. Uh, this is um, a really delicious tomato. It's a grape tomato and it has been very tasty. And uh, let's take a quick look back here to see how these other tomatoes. Now these tomatoes have been very good also. My beefsteak. I have a few well, I just see one. I have a few growing here that are still green in here. Um, I must admit that I haven't taken great care of this back garden, but it produced and is still producing. Now let's take a look at this. Um, I do. I have an eggplant. Yay. I need to harvest that eggplant. Let's look at it. Very nice. Very nice. And um, I think that's it. Well, I have something new to show you that I've added to the garden. And it's back here in my food forest. It's a fruit, fruit tree that I've added to the garden. This is my Bartle, Bartlett, I keep seeing Bartle, but it's Bartlett pear tree. That's what it looks like. And I just put it in and um, it is looking spectacular. Along with the Asian pear tree, I have the peach tree and the apple tree. And so this is my um, fruit orchard, at least the beginnings of it. I truly would like to get two more apple trees and put over on the other side where we were, um, just to balance out the garden. Um, and because I get light over there, right over here, I like to put it right over there. You see right right over there 
have two um, apple trees and um, they had them at the store at the garden center um, I'm hoping that no one will buy them and that they will go on sale <laughs> and that I can get them on sale because you know I got my other fruit trees the Asian pear and also the apple pear apple tree over there um, on sale around this time on clearance so I would love to do that now this was the last pear tree in the um, center at the garden center and so it was great to purchase it they gave it to me at a discount which is good um, pear trees have a great nostalgic place in my heart because at my house um, where I grew up my childhood home we had a pear tree and my brothers loved the pear tree they would climb it it was about mm, a good I don't know it was a good like 20 feet tall or so and they would climb it and they would pick the pears and uh, they would shake the tree and we'd all gather underneath it <laughs> and we would um, just have a great time gathering the pears and my mom she would make um, this pear, pear sauce you know like um, instead of applesauce pear sauce because it was a great cooking pear and um, we would just enjoy it. the house would uh, smell of cinnamon and nutmeg as the pears boiled on the pot in the pot on the stove and we would just look forward to it and then we'd get ice cream and uh, we take the cooked pears and put it on our ice cream and it will just melt and it was just so delicious so I am really looking forward to this also this pear tree has nice fall color the leaves are going to turn color and um, it has a nice fall color to it it's like a reddish tinge so it's going to add beauty as well as the fact that they flower and um, the Asian prayer tree flowered this spring obviously because that's why I have the fruit and it was very beautiful so I'm going to get spring uh, joy from it as well as fruit and then fall color uh, I think that's great um, and then also right here I have another angel trumpet tree it gave me one um, beautiful or two I think two beautiful blooms earlier in the year but I see that it has decided to rebloom and look at that I'm excited to see the buds I am looking forward definitely this has a lot of seeing it just grow and what I'm going to do though is cut the um, stalk again and put it in water and save it because this is a very tender tender plant but it's it's beautiful so look at this this is the angel trumpet tree and I am waiting for this bloom to unfold look at that usually um, for the last couple of years this particular tree has um, taken such a long time to um, flower and um, I've been waiting for this yes I'm waiting for this I'm waiting for it to unfold uh, because it's different from the other one that I showed you it's, it has a different color from the one over there yeah, that one over there that one's more of a pinky color and this has more of an orange color but it has taken so long 
so late in the season to bloom and because it's still kind of mild um, it has decided to flower now what I do in the fall um, when the temperatures start to drop is I dig it up and I um, carry it inside and put it in a cold my cold part of the basement and just make sure that it doesn't dry out the last one dried out the one that I really really love but I love this one too don't let it <laughs> don't tell it that I don't love it because I want it to flower I love you plant mm -hmm. so I'm really looking forward to it flowering and um, you dig it up cut it back you can see where I cut it right there and it started growing and it created all of this growth this year so I am truly excited about seeing this um, flower well the temperatures have been very very cool um, but the watermelons seem to be all right. I lost one of the watermelons. Um, one of the little ones. I just threw it down. Yeah. I lost this one. I don't know what happened. Um, but the others are doing well. Look at this. This one is still growing. And I am really pleased with how these are getting larger the temperatures are so cool at night but this area still receives a lot of sun and also um, it's going to be in the 70s today so that's good there's one tucked in there I don't know if you can see that so my hopes are still up Here's my other watermelon there, and one here. And I see this uh, tendril um, turning brown, but this needs to turn brown also. And I think they need to just grow a little bit more. But I'm, I'm waiting and I'm anticipating. I just want them to be right. So this is the largest one. Mm -hmm. And these back here don't look too bad. Well, the garden is looking pretty nice here from this vantage point. I, um, I love it. And um, this particular squash is just trailing. I don't really see too much, you know, happening as far as fruit is concerned, but it's still very pretty. Um, I like this yellow flower. This is definitely a highlight of this time of year. And I am planning to somehow save the seeds and see if I can scatter it throughout the garden because the bees love it. And, and I love it too. Here I have a lot of different mint and I have two different types. That is orange mint and this is spearmint. And they're growing very well here. The nasturtiums did okay. And the different things that I planted here, they did all right. I believe next year they will definitely be producing. So I'm going to be pulling up stuff and just prepping this garden. But this has been a showstopper right here in the corner. I love that marigolds it makes me want to plant marigolds um, all across this this next year I think I'm going to have marigolds and nasturtiums line lining this side of the garden I think it's going to look really pretty like that look at this Um, it's giving me some ideas for this back bed.
If you like this video, then like and subscribe. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here in Catherine's Garden. And uh, come on back again and share down below how is your garden growing. I hope all is well with you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.